the hell in a cell stipulation is dead. I've seen many pay-per-view, monthly pay-per-views come into gimmick pay-per-views. As abhorrent as it is, the monthly pay-per-view cycle has pretty much devalued the side of build or pay-per-views in general, especially in the pro wrestling aspect. Seeing how much build uh, it can, you know, dysfunction to go over a massive buy rate because how we came over from four to five pay-per-views to now eight to 12 to 16 pay-per-views has, has generalized the cons- you know, the, like, the real thing is, do I really have to see a steel cage match, even though they're going to do a big match on the TV show, and probably just do an- another big match next month? Like, it really cuts over that it's too much content for the sake of quality. And WWE has displayed this. Now, if you guys didn't pay attention because you guys had lives, then we had, of course, four Hell in a Cell matches over the span of of four of three shows. How could that be possible, exactly? Even though people know that Hell in a Cell is usually where the stipulation is. Well, they had a Hell in a Cell match that cut over out of some circumstances before Father's Day. For Rey Mysterio and Roman Reigns. So they had it at the main event of SmackDown. Possibly didn't increase the ratings. Also, they had two other pay-per-views. I mean, two other Hell in a Cell matches. And then, then after... And, and the same one. Yet with the same world champion. Not even with it on the line. Against the Xavier Woods of the New Day. They have automatically killed this stipulation like they killed Money in the Bank. Except it's forced over so it can get other guys over. Oh, just like the Royal Rumble is supposed to get younger talent over. It's always supposed to get younger talent over and not make sure more more top, st- top guys look more established. Yeah, that makes a bunch of sense. I have seen Hell in a Cell come over for m- months or years of build, hatred, violence, so it can be this end point, this end game, this massive story building moment. Hell, just last year we had a good one where even though we had like a like another Hell in a Cell match, it felt like okay, Roman, Roman J, big character shift for Roman, turn heel, showed he was mad controlling. It got us in an emotional level, and I feel like every pay per view match or even a match that's supposed to be violent. As opposed to invest you in an emotional level. That's how I feel like a Hell in a Cell match or anything else like Monsters Ball, Elimination Chamber, a Steel Cage, a Strap Match. Anything that's uh, supposedly with high risks of putting your body on the line should be on the sakeness of doing more for the character. And yet they're not doing that. We had four Hell in a Cell matches. And none of them were memorable, except, I guess, a bit of the Drew McIntyre and Lashley match, or the Roman and Rey match, because every women Hell in a Cell match sucks, and you can't tell me any different, because if you did, you would remind me of a spot, and I'd tell me, oh, it was a good match, without any, like, decent spot, except, oh, Sasha Banks and Charlotte's a good worker. Every, every time the women tried to steal something from the men of a stipulation, it doesn't make it feel more like they're breaking barriers. It feels like it's just a rip-off because the women can't do anything unique to tear themselves apart from the men. It's just a known fact. That's why women will never be as big draws as uh, men. And it's not an insult. That's just... A, I'm not ripping that off. It's just a It's just a fact. I don't like saying that because you could be like, oh, uh, look, women... There wasn't a big draw for women since Ronda Rousey for the women's division. Because women's evolution failed. And just like Hell in a Cell, they, you just don't have the concise star power. You're selling over now the pay-per-views a gimmick other than the stars being there to make the gimmick work. Literally, all we've been seeing for most of these Hell in a Cell matches were just matches. All of them were like PG street fights with Hell in a Cell surrounding it. None of them were climbing it. Nobody was doing creative spots involving it. Nobody was hopping over the cage. Nobody was acting that violent. No, there was barely much blood. The setting didn't feel any different. And there was not even that much of a story to make sure these guys hate each other enough to be in a cage. You could have just made the the two matches we had at Hell in a Cell Street Fights, and you could just call it heck in a sec. And, and, and guess what? 
that would have done the same effect as a Hell in a Cell match, because it doesn't feel like a Hell in a Cell match. There hasn't been a real Hell in a Cell match since Lesnar, uh, Undertaker. Th those are guys with, like, over a decade of history wrestling each other. And, and ending with the streak being broken and, and Undertaker trying to etch for this redemption against Lesnar, ending in a Hell in a Cell match. Uh, Rollins versus Owens, Flair versus Banks, all of these matches, all filler, boring, average, barely enough like anything. Rollins versus Fiend, really? All these are just the concise that shows that Hell in a Cell is just a random gimmick now. They've devalued it over, and setting it being a main attraction to sell over two guys that absolutely hate each other. It's just an average match to just say, oh, it's spooky, scary, hell in a cell. We even painted a red. Nobody wants to see that. I I, I, I have literally been over painstaking, uh, you know, con you know, just concise to just tolerate the type of practice that WWE has been in an image sense, but over what they've been doing, I had to watch two Hell in a Cell matches on TV, and it felt like it was so unimportant. It just felt like another match, and it like that's the way you just kill a stipulation. Now imagine what's gonna happen when you put an Elimination Chamber match in on TV. Sure, it sounds cool on the forethought of it, but just think about it. Hell in a Cell, I mean, Elimination Chamber on the SmackDown. Hell in a Cell started in King of the Ring. Survivor, uh, Survivor Series 2002 was the first ever Elimination Chamber. And those felt like big, over, big moments because it felt like something that you can't see that often. Something that you're going to see on a once or twice a year basis. You don't know when it's going to come. And now they made Elimination Chamber, Hell in a Cell, uh, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Now it's a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. It's the reason for it. Now it just feels like just a tacky schlock. Like now I can see Kofi Kingston and Kalisto in Hell in Hell in a Cell now, and or Elimination Chamber. And now I see people like Xavier Woods in Hell in a Cell. They killed over whatever made this important, colliding with two men, with just a force of malice, and this would be the only way to end it. Now it's just ah, it's Hell in a Cell. And it didn't feel like an endgame. What a waste of a pay-per-view name. What a waste of now the match stipulation that, ah, uh, it's not like Six Sides of Steel. No, it's fucking a, pay it's a match stipulation that's been there since the 1990s. You can't just now schlock it off as now a basis of a gimmick match. That's insulting to me. And that's over time seeing matches, and I'm not going to be rushing over. Yes, I understand those matches are iconic, but I didn't grow up with that. I watched with seeing Batiste and Triple H. I watched Edge and Undertaker. I watched Edge and I watched Kane and Undertaker. I, I watched so, so, Jey Uso and Roman Reigns from just last year. It's a proven fact that you, with the, just the right amount of violence, character work, and build up, you can have a fucking great match. But here's the thing, you don't have to make it in something called Hell in a Cell. You put it on any other pay-per-view, and it could have sold. I don't get it. You don't put something like that over on TV. And I feel like that's how you killed Hell in a Cell. Just like how WWE killed Money in the Bank. How they killed Scramble matches. How they killed uh, Gauntlet matches. How they killed the Royal Rumble by letting the women come over. That's how I feel about how they ruined it. So, uh, that's it coming from me. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy the rest of the videos. That, that's it.